Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sportscape. Time now for our final thoughts. All three of us have just really racked our brains to tell all of you out there what we're really burning us this week at Detroit Sports. Rod, you're up first. I want to congratulate Detroit native Jerome Bettis on his induction to the Pro Football Hall of Fame yesterday. The bus attended Detroit McKenzie and Notre Dame, rushing for more than 13,000 yards in his 13 years with the Rams and Steelers, and that ranked him number six on the NFL's all-time list of rushers. Bettis made some ripples in recent weeks, revealing that he dabbled in selling drugs in high school. While most stars would have tried to run away from that and stay squeaky clean leading up to their most important day, Bettis got out in front of it and admitted he made a mistake. His brother told me that they were bad drug dealers. They just couldn't stay in it for very long, and that led to them getting out along with a strong push from the high school coach, Robert Dozier, over at McKinsey, as well as their parents. Bettis' speech on Saturday celebrated his mother, Gladys, who just recently found out that she was 100% cancer-free, and he also honored his late father, Johnny, who passed passed away just after he won the Super Bowl in 2006. It was classy and emotional, appropriate for the bus's last stop in Canton, Ohio. One of the best guys ever, too. Just really, awesome really dude. easy to root for Bettis. So no question. I really liked his speech as well. Thanks for bringing that to our attention once again. All right, Rieger, lay it on us. All right, Jay Rose, right? It's that time of year Michigan fans are excited about Harbaugh, and MSU fans are afraid of him. Oh, wait, did I mean to say that? No, they're not, but they're excited about football themselves. And, you know, I love the Michigan-Michigan State rivalry. I know it's early, but the trash talking, the constant belittling, the general poising, I love it. I eat it up. So today I wanted to help my own. The Walmart Wolverines out there, when you grow up in this state, you choose either Michigan or Michigan State. It's just how it is. And sometimes you go to Michigan State or Michigan, and you change for who you root for. But what I think is... Michigan State loves to point out the few times that Michigan actually beats them that you didn't even go there. You can't root for Michigan at all. And I'm just here to say, you know what? They're right. We didn't go to Michigan. I didn't go to Michigan. I'm a Walmart Wolverine. So the next time they say that to you, just say, you know what? You're right. And they'll have nothing else to rip on you about, with the exception of beating Michigan six of seven times. Oh. So. Well, just hopefully that changes. There, there are there are the Meyer Spartans out there. Yeah, as as Walmart. Sam Walmart Club like Spartans. To. Save a lot Spartans. There we go. Save a lot Spartans. Sam, Sam, save a lot Spartans. Well, you're right. I love that rivalry too. All right, changes in professional sports happen all the time, but there's a stink about how the Tigers and Dave Dombrowski parted ways. Go back 12 years to an empty Comerica Park, one that produced one of the worst teams in baseball history, and then fast forward to the progress of the last four years under the watch and tutelage of Dave Dombrowski. Two World Series, four division championships, over three million fans served, countless memories for fans and a baseball team that is finally relevant in a city and Major League Baseball as a whole once again. Sounds like whoever was in charge of that unbelievable turnaround should be replaced before he was let go, right? That makes all sense. Think about this. Al Avila was offered the job last Saturday while Dombrowski was informed he wasn't being brought back and actually let go on Tuesday. Where's the loyalty or even the courtesy to a man who did miracles for your franchise? Now, there are a plethora of reasons why this happened that we'll likely never know. But one thing I do know, Dave Dombrowski deserved a better fate than the one he got at the end of his time in Detroit. Guys, no show next week, which is double tier. But we will be back on the 23rd. Any final thoughts today? Anything else you guys want to take care of? Hall of Fame game tonight. You guys watching? It's football, yes. First preseason game? All over it. Uh, Bachelor in Paradise, people. Bachelor in ABC, Paradise. ABC, right? ABC? Great show. This Check guy it knows, out. This guy knows how to plug yeah. it up. All right, guys. 8 o'clock, I believe. <laughs> Tomorrow, too. Thanks so much. Great Thanks to Suburban Report 7 Sports Game for today. Enjoy your Sunday, everyone.